Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Letting them know who the fuck I am. If you're over your head, you won't understand. I got another plan. If all else fails, prevail. I'm gone, but I'm sticking in the cut, never signing off. Little bit of fame in the finest broads. You hypnotize, now you live in a lie. Selling your soul for the enterprise. I'm finna blow like a landmine slowly. Haters all strangers now that y'all know me. OG smoking on that strong, contemplating suicide of a lot. He said, Hey, Dad, what's going on? How you feel? He says, uh, Doing good. You know, doing good. Usually, when my son calls, it's always he wants something. But he always calls to make sure that his old man is, is doing all right. But he called me up and he says, um, he says, Dad, I saw something. One, he says, Dad, something really crazy just happened on my way home from work. And I go, I said, man, what, what happened? He was like, dude, it was like this car just just ran the, ran across the way and just smashed right into the uh, right into the garage over here down by uh, Cleveland Clinic. I go, wait, what? He says, yeah, it just bam. So I was like, uh, did did it? Well, first thing first, you know, uh, the dad thing kicked in, and I was like, you all right? You didn't get hit. He was like, yeah, I'm good. You know, he didn't hit me or nothing like that. So uh, I go, I says, uh, all right, cool. I said, did you go and uh, check, you know, check out? Yeah, you know, I went over there, checked him out. He uh, he had a seizure and he was, uh, he was uh, having a seizure when he ran into the, uh, into the wall. So my son, you know, my son, you know, the awesome man that he is, you know, he went over there, he went over there and uh, checked out and made sure. I got footage uh, that he sent me of what happened and I'll show you guys right now. It's uh, you know I get a I get a mug shot of Tiger Woods. Man, have you guys seen this? Dude is not aging well. I mean, wow. I mean, last time I seen Tiger Woods uh, is well. Last time I heard something from Tiger Woods was. Uh, the situation when he when um, when his girl caught him with all them all them chicks and he ran he crashed into a tree. So he got arrested down in Florida for DUI. Now of course he's going to claim if you you well you could have uh, you could have a reaction a pain uh you could have a reaction 
uh, from different types of medication that you have missed in. Maybe medication that you're not supposed to be taking. How's that? I, I came across this uh, YouTube video. Uh, it's one of the it's one of the US Express drivers. I'm not sure if he still drives here or not, but his name is uh, Kelly Kelly. And his situation was that he got suspended for uh, having drugs in the truck. And the, and the drug of choice was uh, marijuana. Weed. So he, um, it wasn't his, it was his co, it was his co-driver. And, um, his co-driver, well, you know, let, let me let him explain a little bit of what happened. Okay. I know I look rusty, but, uh, here to give y'all an update. I will never, ever, ever team drive again in my life. I mean, some of you guys might be able to find a teammate out there for you or find something that'll work for you or someone who will be a good employee. But I taught this guy everything I could. Tried to help him be successful. He was lazy, not ambitious at all. And out of nowhere, the cops pull us over and searched the truck and found marijuana. Okay, I'm about to hold up right there. Now, I got a quick question as far as what happened and why they found weed on the truck. My question is this, why was the truck searched in the first place? Now, I mean, you really had to have some inkling for a law enforcement to actually search a vehicle. They have to have probable cause of searching the vehicle. All right, let's continue. He's not here anymore. As soon as, the, as soon as the cops pulled up and found the marijuana, they let us go because we're in Colorado. But uh, and this officer is pretty cool. He was pretty cool about it. He's like, yo, I could put this truck on hold. And you guys have both used your job, this, that, and the other. Cop was, cop was cool about it. But uh, U.S. Express was informed about it. He didn't... Put places both on suspension, and now I can't believe. It. Now uh, I'm on I-70 going west, and well, I was going west, <laughs> was going west in Colorado, mile marker 330. He got lucky. He got real lucky. The officer really could have been a dick about it, but you know, I, I guess the officer was in this good mood. But this his team driver though, oh man, that was not hot. You know, the team driver just up and left his ass right there on the highway. I mean, that's that's not cool. That Waiting for a tow truck because I am suspended because they found marijuana on the truck. But his co-driver just boom, just got up and ran and, and left and left the truck, and he got and he got suspended because of 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 because of because of that situation. Now, you know, I'm not a fan of of team driving, especially team driving with somebody you don't know. See, in order to, you know, everybody that's coming in, that's coming in and, and keeps saying that the only way to make some money is the team drive. Well, that is the only way to make, you know, to make some money. 
or more money than what you're making as solo. But the person that you're going to team with, you got to be compatible with. In other words, that person that you're teaming with, you, you basically have to have the same mental attitude as both of y'all out here hustling. You got to have that hustler's attitude. You know, one can't be a hustler and the other one just want to be a homebody. It won't work. It won't work. One person, one person want to stay out for the 45 days and get that five cent bonus for staying out versus the other person that only want to stay out 12 days or only a month at a time. Y'all two is not compatible. Y'all two is not going to make no money. Um, here's an update from from Kelly Kelly. Okay, I'm just here to give you guys an update on what happened. Uh, uh, my partner, it wasn't mine at all. I had nothing to do with it. I volunteered for a drug test. I mean, me, I just wouldn't risk my career on marijuana or something like that. Simple. Give it up. Innocent. <laughs> I almost said guilty. They found me innocent to having any involvement or even knowing about the marijuana at all. And in any way, shape, or form. So I'm glad dude got his job back. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad U.S. Express uh, looked into it and you know made sure that you know that they found him not guilty of sorts. That you know it wasn't his. Uh, it wasn't his, and he didn't have nothing to do with it. So I feel you, bro. Uh, if you're still with us, good. And if you're not still with us, you know, more power to you from um, where you want heading to. The Bunny Ranch. I I remember. I remember episodes of that uh, from HBO's Cat. Dennis Hawk. He's been called America's Pimp Master General, but he considers himself a businessman. Hey! I love it! And what he does is legal. I have a show on HBO called Cat House. Hoff is the owner of the most famous legal brothel in America, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. People love the sex business, and I love being a part of it. What he doesn't love are pimps. You think pimps just suck? I pi pimps are the worst leeches in the world. It's in Birmingham, it's, it's Charleston, it's everywhere. It's everywhere in America there are pimps that are trying to grab the, the life of young girls and take them away from their families. Ladies, this is Amber. She's here visiting. You'll spend some time with you girls. Wants to meet you all. They get scheduled every month or two. Come in and make their money and go back home and lead their life. It, that was, wow, that, that, that was fun. It's uh, it's legal in Nevada. Uh, prostitution is legal. Yeah, oh man, prostitution is legal in Nevada. Uh, probably might not be Las Vegas, but it's in, it's in Reno, Nevada. I'm not sure where where the cat house is at, but um, the Bunny Ranch. tractor trailer crashed through his front door and uh, by by the sound about by, by what Dennis Hoff says the owner by by what he says he said the guy came the guy he said that the police said the guy was in full uh, body armor gear helmet and everything news for today around 4 30 this morning a vehicle did run into the front of the building and right now we are joined by the owner dennis hoff dennis can you tell us about what happened this morning well 4 30 i got the call that a big diesel truck semi back through the gates and actually into the building you can see the damage behind us uh 35 girls in the house a lot of amazon packages in the truck a guy named brian bryant is is the name that the, the police are giving me uh full body armor mask helmet uh he's prepared to do some damage and who knows why we don't see any connection nobody knows him so far um he said he wasn't sure what that guy was coming in to do you know dennis hoff was like 
I don't know what he, I don't know what he had plans. He got, uh, he, he got something going on in the back of the truck. That's what he was afraid of. But he said it had like, he said that the cops had like Amazon packages. Uh, I found this news story on, well, it's not a news story. It's, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much a story uh, that the lady was interviewing Dennis and he, he pretty much explained what happened. It's, it's possible that the guy could have been a, a, a dejected, a, de, a dejected customer. I mean, maybe he didn't get what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? You know? So I'm saying that he's a, he's a former employee there. So if he's a former employee there, how come Dennis Hoff didn't know nothing about him? I mean, the way he was talking, he was talking like he didn't know to do. You know? Everybody else saying he's a he's a, a former employee. Maybe he got broke, you know, maybe one of the chicks there broken up with him or something like that. Maybe he saw one of the one of his girlfriends getting it on with somebody else. But you know what, though? Let me tell you something. You you really can't you really can't have a girlfriend that has a job uh, being a prostitute. I also came across uh, this video on uh, on Facebook, and this video right here, man, is is crazy. This this dude. I don't know, I don't know where he's from or something like that, but he was uh he was making a Facebook video. He was making the Facebook video. And I guess you know he was talking about his tires. And, you know, it's a little business, you know, it's a little tire business. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere in the background, there was a huge crash. Tres Norte de Gosboro. Somos low riders, star sales. A que lado tenemos más llantas. Así que pueden venir a checarnos. 30, 35, 40 dollars a piece. 30 days warranty, you can beat that. Wow. 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 Hey Leo. Man, un choque, bro. Y lo tengo en camera. Oh my god, Lord Riders! Big! Chica! Hey! Wow! Oh my god! Hey, hey! Alejate! Alejate! Chica! Chica, come here! Damn! Chica, come here! Thirty-six, eighteen, U.S. thirteen, North. So let me stop it right here, right here. All right. Don't get me wrong. I want to record too, but dude, what you should have done was put down the freaking phone and go over there and help the truck driver out of the truck, man. That's what you should have did. That would have been a good Samaritan thing to do. Instead of, you you heard the dude saying that he couldn't get out of the truck, man. So you going to stand there with the recorder and ask the dude, hey, can you get out of the truck? He said, no, you should have put it down and went over there and helped him, man. That's what you should have done. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Get out. I can't get out. Hey, come on, let me go. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on, come on. I can't get out. Is everybody okay? 
Un accidente aquí en vivo ahorita frente al taller. I'm sorry. Come to find out it was a it was a livestock, it was a livestock hauler that was hauling, you know, pigs, bacon, and ham and pork chops. I'm getting hungry just by thinking about it. My other thing is back to the guy with the phone. He could've, he, he could've, he could've, he could've stopped recording, called 911, and go and make sure that the truck driver was So that's the two things. All right, that's the two things. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Letting them know who the fuck I am. If you're over your head, you won't understand. I got another plan. If all else fails, prevail. I'm gone, but I'm sticking in the cut, never signing off. Little bit of fame in the finest broads. You hypnotized, now you live in a lie. Selling your soul for the enterprise. I'm finna blow like a lamb, I slow. Haters all strangers now that y'all know me OG smoking on that strong contemplating suicide over lies they told me lonely